the flowers For a couple of hours Breakfast time yet? What time are you working? I don't know, two till six. Oh, I'm one till five. I'm here now. Where's your connect then? Uh, I, I don't know. Probably not even coming out tonight. Oh, thanks. You're a tit, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, if you were on a tour, you better get your fat ass up, you know. Because Jenkins is going bonkers. Yep. Yep, on my way. Ah, the beast has arisen. <laughs> Mum, Freak Show rang, said they want their star attraction back. We'll let him take the shop and in, then I'll send him back. Had any breakfast? Um, just about to. Good to see you embracing the healthy eating message. Yeah. It's great for your skin as well. Cheers, Mum. just about to check that you were in, Miss Cowan. Oh, been in a while, Mr Jenkins. Well, when you finish up here, can you give Emma a hand in Section 8? Will do. Thank you. Oi! Cow! Jules? Just kidding, yeah. This is nice. Are you okay, Jules? We've messed up class. We've really messed up. What's happened? I'm pregnant. <laughs> Check three times. Didn't know he had so much piss in me. We oh, had such a good aim. Have you told anyone? Your dad? What about Morgan? Does, does he know? I told him last night. He shoved it for a bit. Called me a slut. Said we were over and he didn't want nothing else to do with me. And then he left. Oh yeah. He spat on me. What about Emma? Have you told her? No. Oh. She's next. Oh my God! You poor thing! Are you all right? I messed up my entire life. Don't be silly, man. You haven't. To challenge you to give me a positive spin on this one. Mother's Day. It's like a second birthday for the Virtal and Kayla, last Yeah, right? and you're great with the little ones. Yeah, remember you dated little Andrew Davis? Well, he was pretty much a dwarf. <laughs> Having fun in here, ladies. There's a level 10 human spillage on aisle four. Could one of you go and clear it up, please? Now. What is it? Is it human then? I don't know what it is, but it's making me feel sick. Oh, sorry, girls. <coughs> yeah, that helps. 
Yeah, thanks, Jules. Can you get me up to you, please? Well, I'm gonna check it again. What can I do for you today, please? Cluck, cluck. Yeah, I'd like for you to admit you're the total dick. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at work? We all quit. All three of us. You haven't told them, have you? What? The one who found out you were gonna be the father of my child? You called me a slat? Said you wanted nothing else to do with me? And left me? Yeah, they have told her. What are you talking about? I don't even know who it really is. Oh, and she was all right. You know I wanted to finish with you. You've just in this to trap me. Trap you? You seriously think I'd get myself out the dust to trap a lump like you? Don't kid yourself. You ain't that much of a catch. Yeah, no smell. Well, good luck with it anyway. You bastard! I'm Morgan. I love the outfit. You meant to be a chicken or just a cock? Oh, you're such a tall nappet, like. Can't believe I ever thought he was even remotely cute. Ali's mean. You've always had a rubbish taste in men. Actually, I got you some men. Um, thanks, but what the hell are they? Fawn charms, man. We've all got an animal each. Cow's got a cow, I got a monkey. Ah, oh, and I got a bloody pig. Thanks. But I thought you liked pigs. Aye, on my plate with chips. Well, if you don't like it, I can always take it back anyway. No, it's lovely. Weird but lovely. Oh, come on. Let's go celebrate me ruining my own life and losing the shittiest boyfriend in the world. Ay, 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 I like you very much. Ay, 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 I think you're grand. Why, 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 you go bless him, little green apple. I got something to be the best. Yeah, 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 like you do. Oh, you got some pass? You like 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 I'm driving. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the miss sense above the plane. Oh, I'm driving. Get it down there. Come on, then, Jules. Hey, yes, my girl. <laughs> I'm so glad you can't drive. Yeah. Oh, three weeks of mine. Peace out, cake. Oh, man. yeah, three time lucky, is it? Um? <laughs> <laughs> I, that was just bad luck. I was like, supposed to know the exam and be afraid of crash. Oh, yeah, yeah, three, three times. times. <laughs> Well, before they arrested him, like. Can I ask where you were going in such a hurry? Oh, sorry, officer. Um, I thought you were off the boy races and I was in your way. Is there alcohol in that bottle? No, anymore. Given the smell of alcohol in your vehicle, and the fact that there's an open beverage in your car, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to perform a breath test. The test result confirms that there is no alcohol in your bloodstream this evening. Can I please advise that you head straight home before you get in any more bother, young lady? Have we been picked up at the first before, Anne Cass? Oh, 
I know, but I've been so angry in the room by my. Actually, it's a breaking party, girls. Can it really take me on, please, Cass? I feel mega sick. You're too early for morning sickness, aren't you? Check out Dr. Doolittle, you. Yeah? This is where you become an amateur gynecologist. Uh, well, I happen to find the study of the human anatomy quite fascinating. Oh, well. <laughs> Ooh, it depends whose anatomy you're studying. <laughs> Don't get me started. Oh, not James Weaver again, Jules. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to text him, see if he fancy. Oh, darling, dear. Hi, James. Oh. My mate, Jules, fancies Please you. Please don't. Oh, pass. It's, gonna find oh, it's not even funny now. Oh, let me just get his number. Open the door. <laughs> Just, I've rung an ambulance. We've got other people on the route to help, okay? Three vehicles have been involved. Right. Two people in the vehicle there. I can't get any response out of them. Whatsoever. The ones in the front or the ones in the front? <laughs>
Mrs. Cohen? Yes. Are you the mother of Cassie Cohen? Yes. Could we have a word, please? Look, I'm really sorry. It keeps going into voicemail. I, I can't get through to him. He, he, I don't know what else to do. Can I call him from the car, please? Mr. Williams? Yeah? Father of Emma Williams? Yes. Are you, are you parents in love? Dad! Where's the kid? What? We'll get someone to drive you. Call a cab. What have they said? They said we just gotta wait, that's all. I must warn you, they were significant injuries to the upper torso and face. Thank you for warning me. I don't think it's working. I hate hospitals. Are you uh, waiting for someone in surgery? My uh, daughter, our daughter. Me too. My grandson. He's five. His mum and dad were killed today. My only son. Head on, they didn't stand a chance. Some stupid teenage driver on the bypass, plowed straight into them. They say the driver was a girl, a kid, 17. It was, uh, my daughter. Pardon? She was driving the car. I... 
Empecé que el padre. I'm sorry for your losses. Losses? When you were away, your daughter was pregnant. Strong enough for this. Oh, come on. Come on, we are. Come on. We can do Our condolences and how many you've done enough to my family as it is? She's dead because of your daughter. My only child. Your daughter killed my little girl. Steve. Shut it! She must have been drinking and driving. News reports say she was breathalyzed an hour before. No, I never want to see you or your family ever again. If I do, I'll kill you. You hear? Yeah. You and your slag of a daughter. Now so get out! The boyfriend of a pregnant girl killed in a road traffic accident that claimed the lives of four people has spoken of his heartbreak. In an exclusive interview, 18-year-old Morgan Davis told how he was looking forward to fatherhood and of his love for his childhood sweetheart, Jules O'Shea. I was over the moon about the baby. I was so happy when I heard the news. When she told me she was pregnant. I hope you're proud of yourself, young lady. They should lock you away forever. You horrid, murdering bitch. You were the one that should have died. She was such a lovely girl. I could have sold her coming to dad. We couldn't get married anymore. Is everything all right? One of the girls who works here? Well, her brother was in the car your daughter hit. They buried him last week. My manager doesn't think it would be appropriate for me to serve you. Please, please don't make a fuss. Somebody did a good job bringing her up, eh?
You can do it. Come on. <sighs> Come on, Cass. Come on, one more go. Well done. <sighs> well done. That's it. Go on. That's it. Good girl. Can I help you? Uh, is she okay to talk? Could you confirm that you're Cassie Cowan, the driver of a light blue KA that was involved in a car accident on the 13th of May this year? Yeah. Then it's my duty to inform you. I'm formally requesting that you present yourself at a police station at the earliest time convenient for questioning in relation to this incident. <sighs> Cassie, four people died. We have to establish the truth about what happened. Come on, wakey wakey. Time to get up. It's your big day today. Man, I know how much you love mornings. I need you to look your best. You've got to be there for nine. For the briefing by the judge. Come on, wake up. Right, this needs changing. Cass. Cass. Come on, it's going to be fine. You didn't mean to hurt anyone, did you? It was an accident, wasn't it? Could have happened to anyone. You didn't do anything wrong, did you, love? Did you? Stupid. <laughs> 